Speaking of gauge category, we also have a full gauge management system integrated right into the software. For example, here are all is a list of all of our gauges. Here's the blade micrometer that we have. Um, it has the basic information for it, the gauge information, and then any location details. And we'll get into this in the shop floor system as well um, to show you how you can um, uh, utilize this data out on the floor and how it all works together. Um, if you got it from a certain supplier, um, calibration vendor, less calibrated by, so it keeps track of all your calibration results and your frequency um, and any certain numbers uh, associated with it. Also, if we go up here to notification settings, we can be notified by email if there's any expired gauges or what a lot of our customers use is the expire soon. So let's say, hey, 30 days, 45 days from when it actually expires, email this person. And that you can have multiple people here and you can also have external um, people. So let's say you have a third party source to your calibrations. You can notify them maybe 45 days in advance and say, hey, this is coming up for calibration. Make sure you get in here and get it um, calibrated in time. So we support all that. And also, if you happen to have, if you're using a different software or a lot of our customers too, just track it by an Excel sheet, we can import that and bring it right into HiQA. So you're not having to duplicate it. You're not having to um, you know, re-input them one at a time. We can simply bring your list in completely. But one thing that we do have that we don't believe anyone else does, if I come down here to this thread gauge, for example, and I'll come down here to the bottom and say usage history tab. So if I click on my usage history, I have full transparency of every dimension that this gauge ever checked, right down to the job number, the lot number, the serial number, what dimension it was, what specific dimension it was, and what the call out was, um, and whether it was a good or bad part. If we scroll over here, we know, by login, who measured it, um, the time and date stamp it was done. Uh, if it came from a specific machine, you can put that here. If it's tied to a non-conformance report, you can put that here. All the information is stored in the database. And now because we have the dimensional information, we have the gauge information, now we can start correlating those and making sense of them. Where this is becomes really, really um, powerful is if you had maybe a drop gauge. Let's take that thread gauge, for example. Um, thread gauges are notorious, right? You drop them to get a little burr on the edge or the, the lead, and it's always the lead edge, right? But um, um, let's say it was bad and it started checking parts incorrectly, and we started failing um, good parts. You can come back here and see where it started to check um, badly or check parts incorrectly. And now you have a great uh, reference for quarantining parts and then having to you know, go through and reimagine them if you need to. Saves a lot of time from that. Please visit HiQA to request a demo and learn more.